Baylor is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cowboys have been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting, their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now he tries to buy some time. That scramble gets them seven yards. the middle for a nice run. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's a strike complete. He's down. A gain of six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Red two. That's a gain of ten on the play. First down. Black five. Black five. They go. Blue four. Blue, go. Quick throw, and down he goes around the 28-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. They come out on an empty backfield. Out of bounds at the 23. Hustle up, hustle up. That brings him second and five. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Gaining three yards. That'll make it third and one. Don't kill, kill, kill! Throws a bullet over the middle, and he's tackled right away. Yeah, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but you know, they're converting when they have to. This is the 11th play of this drive. Red two! And he's immediately tackled. Gain of two. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. At the one. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Looking right, intercepted. The defense really cranked up the heat there. Give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. He heaves it deep. It's picked off. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack.
from the 46-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fires this one. And he's taken down around the 27 yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is. The offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Five wide. made around the 14-yard line. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Brought down at the six-yard line. That's a game that made on the play. That makes it second and two. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. They'll work the right side. They'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Black five, black five. That's a great tackle at the four-yard line. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Makes it to the 14. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Steps out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. That makes it 37. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. And we've seen that from both of these defenses so far. So at the end of one, no score here.
set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more. Now. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 48. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. First down. To his receiver, no good. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. From the 48 yard line, second down. Red two, green 15. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black to go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. This one away. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He punts. No, he won't. This one will fall incomplete. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Makes it out to about the 46. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. That's good for being 10 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes the catch and look out, and they push him out at about the 33-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Hey, two, kill, kill, kill. Three, play, three, go. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 31. Six-yard line, second down. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Baylor! These guys don't get tensed down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. So a 
nine play 58 yard drive and it's good for seven points. Brett I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Baylor lines up for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 17 yard line. Oklahoma State's coaching staff I've got a thing going into halftime and we're getting close right now Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when we start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. Green nine, green nine. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Almost intercepted there. That brings us fourth and eleven. Booming kick. Gets to about the forty four yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, and they might be able to force him into a mistake. Baylor up seven points. He scrambled. And down he goes around the 42 yard line. From the 42 yard line, it's second down. Him hard the 33 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black 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 Black. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle right around the 30. Defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Red two. And he makes it out to about the 14 yard line. Baylor is up a score. After a decent run up the gut. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Touchdown, Bears. That's the second catch for six he's registered today. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too.
gets the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. Looking for the corner. Tackle made at the 13-yard line. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. Number 18 on the tackle at the 18-yard line. That brings him second and five. Red two, kill, kill. Panther two. We played a half of football. Baylor leads it 14 0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offensive work. Yeah, I, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove, and this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it, and the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Quick throw. And he's stopped behind the line, taken back a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up second and 11. Just don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 37. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires it out. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. 
That'll be a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 35-yard line, third down. The 36, maybe a yard that time on the screen. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He sails it long. Yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now 21 0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep, and they can forget about returning this one. The Cowboys have just gone ice cold on offense, they can't seem to get anything going. Yeah, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he throws it away. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He's at midfield, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Number 16 was the From the 44-yard line. Second down. Check three, check three, check three. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. They'll bring him down to the 37 yard line. Gain of seven yards. Tight right, tight right. That makes it third and three. Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Easy. 
He's taken down at the 34. That makes it fourth and inches. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Red two. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it 35. Check, 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 check. 45's the mic. Knocked out of bounds after the catch. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Baylor to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He passes it. Oh, what an interception. <laughs> Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. He has some room. And he's tackled at about the 35. Gets out to around the 18. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Red two, three, eight. Gets to about the 17 yard line. We head to the fourth. 24 to nothing. Fair. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Hey, check Mike 45, check Mike 45. Go. Green nine, green Go. nine. Green nine. Go. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Third and ten. Ball on the 18. Mike, Mike. He's scared. Go. Complete run down, nothing to it. That brings us fourth and seven. It's up, and it is good.
Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. The Bears have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. They've just been outmatched and outplayed this entire game. That pass was thrown with very little confidence. And it was an easy interception for the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14. Baylor in control. Quick throw, incomplete. Bono's receiver. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He steps out around the five yard line. This will just add insult to injury. Kicks away, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. Well, Herbie, this senior hasn't looked nearly as sharp as we've seen him in the past. Well, I think a lot of quarterbacks that don't have a huge hand don't get a good grip on the football. And right now, watching him play in these conditions, I think it's really starting to catch up with him that he gets back there, and I don't think he's comfortable throwing the football. He hasn't done much to silence the fans, but let's see if he can put something together here. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Set down! Gets it, he's in space. Tackle around the 25-yard line. Here's a draw. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. So the ball will change hands, and it'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen, and you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. And he just gets rid of it. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. And two. Makes it out to about the 14 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it 39. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green eight. Hey, kill, 
kill, kill! Black five, black five! Let go! Is it on? Slings it, and down he goes at the nine yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. This is to add to an already impressive lead. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Oklahoma State's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, and the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. the stop at the 40-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Second and ten. Ball on the 40. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Red two. He's under pressure. Going long. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Just a minute remains in this football game. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Baylor comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. The back gets three on the carry. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. That'll bring up third and inches. Oklahoma State staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.